This is your bar arms and abs sculpt. We're going to define and chisel your entire upper body. I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And let's jump right into our workout. We are gonna start on the ground like this. Grab your weights. Feet are gonna be flat in front of you. Reach the arms up overhead. And we're going to lower the arms down, lift up just like that. We're gonna start in our arms here. Okay, so every workout is going to be timed. I'll keep time for us so you can just follow along and enjoy yourself, okay? So let's start in three, two, one, and let's go. Lift and lower. So I like doing this one seated here because it really challenges your posture. You notice it's actually pretty difficult to stay upright the entire time. So use this to your advantage and really work those posture muscles. Try to squeeze those abs in. We are gonna get into some more core work here in just a second. I know you're so excited for more core work, but this workout's really gonna do your entire upper body, which I know you guys love doing that. So up and squeeze the hands together, lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Good job. Nice, now come all the way down and we're gonna crunch up two times, one, two, Come on up and then lower down. So just a little up, up, and then a full roll up, okay? Here we go. So roll it on down nice and slow. Little crunches, one, two, and then roll all the way up. You're gonna feel those shoulders work and of course the core working here. And exhale, exhale, roll it on up. Whew. Nice. Okay, let's come all the way down. Legs are gonna come into a little diamond, arms are straight up. We're gonna open the arms up like this as the toes tap down and lift. If it's too much to do both, just pick one and you can alternate. You can go arms and then do legs just like that, okay? Otherwise, you can challenge yourself by doing both of them at the same time. I'm leaving my head down on the ground and make sure that you still keep your lower back on the ground as well, good. Take a little breather here. And now we're going to reach all the way up with our arms here like this as we tap the toes down and let the arms open up like a little chest press. Elbows are like in a cactus. You're gonna tap the toes and then lift, good. So tap the toes, keep the legs in a 90 degree angle. Elbows open wide as you press up and lower. Now if you wanna add a challenge, you can add basically like a crunch there with the upper body. Good, up and lower, really getting those upper abs involved as well. Feeling the shoulders, chest muscles, biceps, good. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, good. Inhale and exhale. All right. We're gonna go into a tricep extension here and we're gonna alternate through the legs. So we're gonna switch, switch through the legs as the arms do this nice little tricep extension. And you can decide if you want your head down or head up. All right, and let's go. Up and up. I'm gonna keep my head down for this one. And the hands are pressed together. Let the weights come right over the head. Whew. Feeling those lower core work, the triceps work. 
nice and slow and steady throughout the whole workout. Keep that lower belly button pressed down and in. Take a little breather. And now we're going to come all the way up. Whew, and then we're going to just reach the arms up overhead and lower back down. So just one single lift, reach up overhead. Join me now. Nice roll up all the way up to the top and extend overhead. Now nice roll down. So you wanna make sure that you're rolling down nice and slow here. Right here, one vertebrae at a time. Good. And up, Whew. and lower. Chin towards chest, nice and slow. Breather. We're gonna roll up, do roll ups again, but this time we're gonna add a little punch, punch. I know you always love a good, a good punching session, right? To get all that stress out. So roll down, roll back up, punch, punch. Let's go. Roll down, roll up. Nice. I love the punches with the weights. Really gets deep into those intercostal muscles, all the little muscles around your ribs. Gives that nice twisting action there. Nice job. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice strong punches, give it all you got. Come on up, and we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Coming onto all fours, you're going to just have one weight in your hand, and you're going to thread it through underneath, thread it all the way through, and then when you come up, you're gonna bring the left elbow into the left knee, or left knee to left elbow. Good, wrap under, and the other arm is just going to extend side. So lots of good core and arm work here. Reach and side, good job. to the other side. You notice how that works a lot in the core, the obliques especially. That's why I love this one. And then of course the arm going to the side. A lot of good arm work there, working the posture, work, working the back. So let's go to the other side. Thread under and then bring the knee all the way up to the shoulder as high as it can go. Thread under and up. Good. Also testing your balance. I know even though it's on your hands and knees, always good to test your balance here like this. But I'm trying to get to know you much better Don't matter how much time it will take But there's something you're trying to hide There's something you're keeping inside, inside But I'm trying to get to know you much better Don't matter how much time it will take Come all the way up here like this, and we're gonna twist it to the side and lift. Okay, side and up. I couldn't read my own notes there for a second. Side and up, good job. So the other leg is just extended nice and long. Toe is pointing forward, and we're just using this weight to challenge us. If you want an extra challenge, you could do both weights. Obviously, that's going to add a lot. I'm gonna stick with one. 
Think about lengthening through your spine as you do this. You want to grow taller, up, 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 and lengthen yourself instead of just kind of shortcutting down. Okay, think about lifting up and then going over. Good job. Okay, other side. So if toe is pointed forward in yoga pose, you call this gate pose. Lift on up, pull the core in nice and tight. Okay, and we're gonna just shift over to the side and lift up. Here we go. Remember to lift up, up, up to go over, okay? Not just down, but think of up. You're drawing a big arc with your head. Okay, now we'll go into high plank row. We're gonna start with just the left arm, so we're gonna be in a high plank pose, and we're gonna pull the left leg or left arm all the way up back into that high plank pose, okay? So if ever you need to, put the knees down. Here we go, lift and tap it down. So notice my feet are a little bit wider apart to help balance and counterbalance this one arm plank here. So one, if you modify it, the knees down will look just like this, okay? Which is also still very challenging. Think about squeezing the elbow in towards the ribs. You can do it. And I always love challenging you guys because I know you love the challenge and this is how you grow, right? So you do as many as you can. That's what I love about these body weight trainings as well, is you can make it work for you. How many reps did you do today? How many are you gonna do tomorrow, right? You can work on it every day. It's always doable, right? Every exercise is doable. Some, if you do weight lifting, it's not really doable. So this is very doable. You're always safe on your body, injury prevention. All right, here we go, other side. High plank pose, try not to shift those hips too much. And you're gonna notice, yeah, you probably have one side that you favor over the other. That is totally normal. Keep the hips nice and quiet. especially back to back like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go into high boat here, little boat pose, and we're gonna just little pulses out and in, out and in. These are gonna get hard. These will get hard pretty quickly, so let's begin. Out, in, out, in. Okay, we have reached our final move. And for a final move, we are just going to punch it out. I want you to just get all of that, just get it all out, you know? All the negativity, all the stress, okay? So we're just going to lean it back and then lean it forward. Woo. Keep going. Lean back and up. Nice, strong punches, working the arms, working all the little muscles around the ribs the abs, the back, and then the mind. Releasing, freeing your mind, letting it all go. Every punch that you do, you're just releasing every negative right there. Just letting it go. 
so that you can feel rejuvenated and reset afterwards. Keep going, keep going. This is it, last 10. Woo. Put it all out there, you're almost done. Three, two, one. Oh man, that was so good. Amazing, amazing work.